Hi guys, welcome to Angel Whispers. Vanessa here speaking. And today, I'm gonna share to you what I learned so far in my spiritual journey. Now, this is based on um, what I learned from the Bible about Jesus' teachings and so forth. Now, guys, I know that some of you are not into Christianity or has different belief system or religion but as a light worker i share to you some points of what i learned from jesus through the bible actually you know i find that the bible is actually a walkthrough for the light workers because um there we are given a clue on what we're gonna encounter in our life and actually some key points on why is it you know the heaven don't want the prophets to be closer to people to be honest and really it's um kind of devastating um in the part of light workers that we experience to be an outcast to be alone to detach from people it is because even in the Bible, it states there that, you know, um, they live from places to another place to preach, right? While in our case scenario, in modern times, okay, I really see this happening over and over again to pick a card readings whenever I encounter a pile about a light worker that the light worker needs to be alone needs to be single to fulfill their mission work now if you ask me why is it like that like example what's happening to sushant right now like some light workers are being called on to help but you know um if they help and they are connected with somebody um, those attackers, because we are dealing here with people that use as black magic, since they can touch you because you're a light worker, the divine is protecting you, they attack those that are closer to you. Now, that is why the divine is asking us to detach from people that we love. Because if you are too attached to them, what we gonna happen to us is that by simple threat, we will freak out. We will give up our life purpose, job on earth, just because we are threatened. I know that it sounds very scary for us light workers to do our mission work. But the heaven remind us um, about the Bible that we must take God first aside from others and another reason why um, as a light worker it may take some time for us to find the love of our life like even though we find our twin flame that push us into spiritual journey okay um, it doesn't mean that that is the one or their separation needs to happen so that you'll focus on your job. Because if you're too focused on two things, like your job, the love of your life, and so forth, we tend to block ourselves to a spiritual journey. And yes, you know, spirituality, religion really help us ground ourselves because if we remember that God is number one, that is our first priority in this lifetime. Like me, I always do a, um, prioritize my divine mission work on earth whenever God has called me to make a certain reading i will do that first before the request of others or before you know um the paid readings actually my priority here is what the heaven asked me because as up you need to do that okay what will happen if you didn't do your calling basically what will happen to you is that you cannot sleep unless you did it that's based on my experience because way back then when i denied the calling of god for me this is what i come to realization 
because um, I repeat, repeat again about my story, but some people wasn't able to hear that yet. So way back 2017, I was called by God okay, to do this mission work that I should be in YouTube. But during those time, I'm so busy with my career stuff. I was studying. Okay, I wasn't able to graduate yet during those times. And what happened is that during those moments, okay, um, after graduation during 2018, um, I was pushed for forward on to look for a job. What happened to me, I wasn't able to find any job at all. <laughs> if I got in, you know, they will not message me again. Like, I wasn't able to pass and so forth, though they say I passed. That's very frustrating and I realized that I can't run away from my job. And when I'm doing this light work job, okay, this is one of the examples that I encounter why you can't sleep, okay, if you didn't finish your work. Now, there is a moment in my life, the whole day, I was so depressed. And then the angels came to me, asking me, hey, can you do this, pick a card reading, um, this and that, and say, to them, I'm so depressed right now. I'm not in the mood. Okay. And I slept the whole day because I'm not feeling well, um, due to depression. Okay. And when I wake up, th they are still there waiting for me and they say, can you do this and that? So, you know, during those times, to be honest, um, they keep on bugging and bugging me. And I know that, you know, if I didn't do that reading, I might can't sleep well at night because they will bug me again. So I push forward on doing that. And then what I discovered is that in one of the piles, someone really needs help. And that's why as a light worker, if the divine call on you to do something, you must do it. You must prioritize it a hundred percent. Okay. Then what your client request is or other emails is. That's why I tell you guys as a light worker, there will be a time wherein you should be single because even though, you know, I, let's say I have a child, right? But my child, lives far away from me, okay, because I wasn't able to get my child since my ex-husband don't even, you know, defend us, okay, and they still have the child, and no one wants to fight for the child except me. I don't get much support, that's why I wasn't able to get my child, and imagine that until now, I'm single and my twin flame seems to be the runner not doing his job I think and he keeps on cursing me and so forth I just let him be and as a light worker I realize that what if I have you know I have my child with me and then I also have my twin flame with me or let's say if ever my ex-husband came back. I cannot do that mission work on earth. I will have a hard time to do that. And let's say whenever the angels come in to me, they will always say and even God himself say to me that they haven't found any replacement that will replace me. <laughs> Though I see that there's a lot of people that has a potential in my readings with pick up cards. Okay, with those people that I encounter. Hey, you have the same quality like mine and so forth. And whenever they come to me, they will say, I'm sorry, we haven't found any replacement for you. So what will happen to me? Another year of being single? <laughs> okay, because actually... 
that haven't asked me to do this full time. Like it, it's very hard to be a light worker, to be honest, because you have to give up whole your life for this service. Okay, and I work honestly speaking um, from Monday to Sunday. I don't have a day off unless they will let me rest. Okay, let they will let me sleep. If I'm tired or my energy was drained and then after I wake up, I have to work again. That is how stressful I am. That's why I can't even read some emails because I focus on the requests of the divine and those who paid first after. And then it's very hard for me to tackle on some people that really needs help because I usually um, do the free readings if they haven't asked me and they will say someone needs your help, you have to go live today. That is when I usually help in my live readings. But it's very rare for me, to be honest, to tackle on with emails. And I was bombarded with a lot of emails since I helped Sushant. Actually, guys, I didn't help that so because of my personal need or my personal gain to be famous and so forth. As you can see, okay, I did that because it was a request of a crying soul asking for justice. And I just, you know, made it normal. Like, I don't summon souls. He just came in and passed into my life. And then what happened to me is that actually my schedule got ruined. <laughs> Before I can, you know, I can do a lot of things. Now I can't even my hobbies. Okay, I have another channel too about Nendoroids, but I wasn't able to do that anymore because I have been very busy with this life purpose job. That is how hard it is. That's why, you know, in the connection of that to the religion that I believe in, Jesus point out that these prophets, even God himself pointed out that we need to detach from people, from material things and so forth because our life is extraordinary. We're not like the people that's living in society's point of view. That you need to have a title, you need to have material gain, you need to have money, you need to do this to be famous and so forth. No. Those are very different, okay? Uh, being a light worker, you know, it's not that all that glitters, okay? Like what you see in other tarot readers that you have there, that they, they have a lot of subscribers and so forth. I don't care with subscribers. I don't care with the likes. I never ask people to do that on my channel, okay? I will just let them be. It's because I am here, because God has called me since 2017 to do this. And I haven't done my other mission work to write the book. And that is how busy I am. I wasn't able to write it yet. I'm not yet done with my mission work. But I think that the divine wants me to rest because they are looking for somebody who will replace me. And sadly, they wasn't able to find any. I think that they pity me <laughs> because, you know, I'm like Sushant, like I'm trying to find what true love is and so forth. I wasn't able to find it and my nasty twin flame is somebody who's a player type. And not only that, he will use you for money and then run away. <laughs> I didn't experience true love from my twin, ever. I'm the one who showed that to him. Even my ex-husband doesn't show that to me. He chose to defend his family and now he's even suffering that he can't even, you know, have our son. <laughs> because that nasty family tries to own my son. <laughs> That's really a burden. 
And actually now, I think it, there's a purpose about it. Because if I live with my son, if I live with my twin flame, probably no. People will cast nasty spells on them. Because a lot will be against me due to the fact that I have been I'm sorry, releasing videos about Sushant's sisters and other people involved in the killing of Sushant. And this is the risk. That's why I tell you all to, you know, um, don't let go of your religion. If ever you're a tarot reader and you believe in certain things, we still need to believe that there is God. Because some people will say that they have goddess within, God within. And I know that, you know, in Buddhist religion, because it is shared to me by my friend who is a Buddhist, that, you know, um, they think that people is, you know, the their own God and Goddesses and... I don't know. Maybe that's why they asked me to preach in Japan before the tsunami happened. Um, because they don't know that there is God. And really the divine will help you ground yourself if you believe that there's somebody or there's a force out there that is greater than us. Because if you believe that we are someone like a god and goddess says what will happen to us is that we will detach ourselves from our mission work on earth thinking that we are greater, thinking that we are greatest and all we will be is a narcissist who wants material gain, who wants power, who wants fame, who wants the money. And that's why it's very important for us as a light worker to be simple because we sh need to be a good example for everyone. Okay? And we need to teach them the value of life is not only about material things. Because it's about being simple. It's about doing your work on earth and of course sharing your belief system sharing about your religion too and i am made to be a preacher by the divine that's why i still preach about my own religion i know that some people may annoy maybe annoyed by by what i'm doing but i'm doing this because this is my purpose on earth okay this is basically the one it's not just I will do readings for everyone or sense whatever palette is. I have a lot of mission work, not only this one, and I haven't discovered yet my gift in healing. And I wasn't able to yet fulfill on writing a book about my story. I just share my story by vlogs, by this channel, by my voice but about the book no i wasn't able to write any when i tried to write my story i burst to tears because when i wrote about my childhood memories it's really painful and i know that my relatives will hate me once that it was released because i don't really have a good childhood memory and that's why God asks us to detach from people that we love because once that we attach, we will not do our mission work. I know that it's a challenge for the light workers, but um, we must do what we are asked to do by God. All right, so I hope that by the verses of Jesus or by the Bible, by your religion, it help you ground yourself and know that religion is very important. Don't let this kind of spiritual journey will pull you away from spirituality, from God. And don't let fame get the best of you guys. Ground yourself and know that you're here in YouTube helping people. Because that is your purpose on earth and it is not about you having a job. It's not about you 
Okay, being famous on earth, it's about you doing your purpose. Okay, so is there anything else? They say that's it. So anyway, thank you for listening and sending you all peace, love and light. Bye.